He, uh, last season, had 48 tackles, 29 stops, including six against Arkansas, uh, allowed no passing touchdowns, and had one interception, and is officially the first current Penn State football player on the BWI Daily Edition. Of course, I'm talking about Penn State linebacker Curtis Jacobs. Curtis, welcome to the show. Super excited to have you on. I'm super excited to be on. I've been a big fan of the show for a while. We, don't get me blushing to start the show. You're going to get me rattled. <laughs> no, I, uh, I love watching you guys. It's, it's, it's just great to see how just how in-depth you guys get into this stuff, how you guys do that. It's, it's, it's amazing for real. Well, thank you. That And that means a lot coming from you, somebody who is an expert in football. I'm just learning to speak the language, really. I was thinking about mm -hmm. it last night is like, you know, I was trying to prepare for this and like, OK, so I got to make sure that I it's like almost like speaking a different language talking about football. Yeah. And I was terrible with languages in, in high school and college. So it's good to know that my my football is actually pretty fluent. That's good. Yeah, you you guys you guys pretty much get the gist of it. I, I love hearing you guys talk about like the ins and outs of it. Well, we're going to get into a lot of that today, and I'm excited to do that. And I want to start with the bowl game. Go back to uh, talking about you had six stops in the bowl game. Uh, your first game playing that will linebacker position where you've transitioned to this year. We've talked a lot about it uh, so far this offseason, but just from that particular situation, I'm sure you've practiced at will before, mm -hmm. but transitioning from the end of the season to playing there in the bowl game, how was that experience for you? Yeah, obviously it was a, it was a really great experience. Um, just being in the box, being able to take on more hits, you know, being able to work more moves. And honestly, the best part of it was being able to play third down. I feel like that was a big part of my game that I didn't really get to show uh, because of the personnel. And I felt like that was a really big opportunity for me. Yeah, because that's uh, your position. I, I always call it the 11th defender. You're the mm -hmm. before you pre previously were the the Sam linebacker, and of course Daquan Hardy comes in on third down. Yeah, it's it's, it's more of normal downs when you're when you play the Sam. So uh, you know, I, I don't want to make too much of that transition uh, to to the will, but it is going to be a lot about what we talk about today. Um, one of the things in in general I want to know though is, did you feel comfortable in the bowl game? Like, how comfortable did you feel? uh then and how comfortable do you feel now well it's it, the my comfort comes from just being able to trust my teammates and i had full trust in my teammates and that just motivates you to do your job so i i would say i felt pretty comfortable and now it's just i'm running with it um i feel like i've hit the ground running and i'm i'm in for a really big season next year one of the things i i noticed right away was that you seem very confident on film uh, in that game mm -hmm. but obviously on the field the, throughout the season that really started to take off how much freedom does do you feel when you're playing that way um that's that's really what I wanted to hammer home coming into last season was confidence and pretty much every time I was talking to the media you guys always ask me like what changed and I just said I started believing in myself and that really once you get that mindset of I'm going to do my job and I, there's nothing that's going to stop me from doing my job. That really like drives home the, the topic and it makes it, it makes it way easier. Uh, you in 2020 came in, played some uh, plays. I thought flashed and played very well um, as a freshman. And then last season you stepped into the role that you did. Um, how this is going to be kind of a basic question, but how hard is it to we were joking earlier about learning football and it's a it's a second language. But how hard and how complex is the game of football to learn for a young oh, it's player? It's extremely I would say if you if you look at it the wrong way, it's hard. But once you start to really dive in and like start looking at tendencies and certain formations and certain things that even a specific person does like it makes it easier because it gives you that anticipation aspect. And that's one of the things that Ellis Brooks, he was really big on for me. Like I live with him from probably the end of my freshman year, that whole summer I lived with him. So it was just seeing his process and seeing how he would watch film and look at certain things and anticipate certain things that really helped me. How important is that mentorship within a football program as well, where you have extremely, veterans extremely learn those important. things? Yeah, it's extremely important because 
the veterans really they show you the habits because you're coming in not you're coming into college like 17 18 years old like you probably never even had a process before you probably just started lifting just started like really diving into football and they show you that you really need to love this game and really need to take the steps and processes that you need to take like Another guy I've really looked up to is Sean Clifford because his process every day and how he leads is just amazing. And, and that seems to be a, a common thread whenever talking about Sean Clifford. So when you have a guy yes. at the quarterback position, how much does that give the team as far as we, – we've heard you guys are very tight and mm -hmm. that you guys have a, a great locker room presence. Is that a part of that too, of having a guy to look up to, but also a guy who oh, for sure, seems because... like such a good guy to be around for teammates? Yeah, it's 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 amazing. It really it really drives the culture because uh in there in other programs like you could have a guy like that who's just worried about doing what he has to go to go. Like he's not worried about the team and I feel like Penn State it just is really team oriented. Like everything you do is for the team. <laughs> Next man up at linebacker, you, Curtis Jacobs, uh, and Manny Diaz, new linebacker coach. We've gotten to know him a little bit throughout the last couple of months during spring football. Um, what? Just give me, again, to recap, your general sense of him as a coach, as a position coach, and a defensive coordinator. What stands out to you about him as a, as a person in that area? Uh, I say his passion. Uh, I love his passion. I love how he comes to work every day, like, and just brings the energy and just makes sure you know today is the day. Like, I forgot what he said for our first scrimmage, but he was just he was just so animate of just coming out and dominating and not even not even having to talk trash or anything because we're not we're not doing it for like to show the offense we we can do what we do. We're doing it for us as a defense and just trusting in your guys and all that stuff and how he comes. I just, I really admire that. Coach. So it's an internal thing. It's not that we have to prove anything to anybody else. It's that we want to dominate because that's what we want to do. Is yeah. that kind of it's, what it is? It's we want to dominate because that's what we do. Like mm -hmm. that's what we do at Penn state. And that's the standard we're going to keep. So he said of you this spring, and I'll paraphrase here, basically he can run, he can hit, he can blitz. Makes him a perfect will linebacker. Uh, I think most people understand the first two parts of that, but why is blitzing an important part of playing that position? Because you got to make the quarterback feel uncomfortable in this day and age of college football because um, a lot of quarterbacks, they like to sit back and make it a seven-on-seven -seven game. And when you be able to take that comfortability away from them, you take away their pretty much their whole offense for real. I feel like being able to get to the quarterback and being able to put pressure on them is a really important part of the game. Uh, how aggressive do you think this defense is going to be? Uh, extremely aggressive. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna see it uh, change in how we play. I feel like last year we. We were aggressive. You saw us get to the quarterback, but we would be conservative at times. So I think this year we're going to see a lot more aggression. It, does that place any additional pressure on you, you know, as a blitzer making the, the quarterback uncomfortable on the defensive oh, no, that's, ends? That's, that's what I want to do, big dog. That, <laughs> you, know I mean? you you get to the quarterback, it's, it could just it, it could change your life. So I, I feel like that is a part of my game I didn't get to show uh, yet, but I, I – Definitely am willing to show that in the future.